here with my sister Rye and we're gonna be talking all about cloth diapers. So her baby Aiden is like 10 weeks old or something. 11, 11 today, 11 weeks today. 11 weeks old. So she's gonna share with us about her cloth diaper journey so far. And I know a lot of you guys have been requesting this video and I've gotten a lot of questions from you guys. So I hope you're really looking forward to it. Give the video a thumbs up if you do like mm -hmm. it and let's hop in and start quizzing her about her experience so far. <laughs> okay, was it, has it so far been harder or easier than you thought it was going to be? Um, I feel like it's exactly what I thought it was gonna be. Oh, well, that's good. Um, <laughs> so it's not like hard, it's just having to, Ryan sucks at remembering. Um, so I literally have to, and my laundry room is all the way in the basement, I can never hear when the laundry goes off, so I always have to put timers on my phone. So then my timer's going off and waking Aiden up. Um, but I'm like, oh, I'll have to remember whenever I'm, he goes to bed or whenever I'm done feeding him or whatever it is I'm doing, I'll go down and switch it. But then I don't remember. So it just takes like a full like 12 hours for me to get one cycle of diapers done. <laughs> so laundry is more an issue than uh, just oh, like changing yeah. stuff. Oh, yeah. Oh, 100%. Yeah. 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 So, do you feel differently about cloth than you did before? No, I still think it's awesome. Yeah? Yeah. Okay. So, yeah. what's Alex's opinion? Um, as long as they're already made for him, he don't care. He's like, whatever, this is awesome. Um, but I have pointed out multiple times, because the last, like, the last two weeks, Aiden's been holding all of his poop in until, like, five o'clock at night. And then he just explodes with poop. And so I have pointed out every single time if we were using disposables, it would not have held that. Like, it would have been gone. And there have been some where it was like, I didn't know he had that much in his body. <laughs> because it like covers the whole insert all the way up onto his baby junk. Whole insert, almost up to the tippy top, definitely up the back. And then like coating the back side of it too, the part that's actually been down inside the, uh, touching the cover. And it's just like, I didn't know he had that much pain in his body. That's <laughs> not what I was expecting from like a 12 pound baby. It's like, so <laughs> true because one weekend we took Aaron down to my grandpa's for the weekend and just put him in disposables and he had every single poo was a blowout in disposables. And I didn't realize how awesome cloth was yeah. <laughs> until I remembered how unawesome disposables could be. <laughs> for real. Is washing stressing you out? Not really. Um, do you feel like your wash routine has been okay? It's just like remembering to do the laundry is the hard part? Yeah. Or like actually remembering to be like, oh crap, there's something in the dryer or oh crap, there's something in the wash. That has been really my biggest issue. And then our washing or our dryer only goes in two hours and 30 minutes as its max timer. And I've got a couple, uh, I've got four hemp overnight inserts or like the fitted diapers. And those guys, I have to put on for another 30 minutes after that because they will not totally dry mm -hmm. through. So remembering not only like, oh, they're done downstairs, but then like having to tell Alex, like go downstairs and get the laundry, but not actually get the laundry, put it on for another 30 minutes. Um, and then also with the wash, I've had a couple times with that where I've said, oh, I need you to go do, or I need you to go do the laundry is all I'll say. And whenever we turn our washing machine on, it tells you the last cycle it was on. And sometimes he won't look at that and he'll just be like, oh, there's diapers in here when it was on the first wash where it was just a rinse and he'll okay. throw them into the dryer and yeah. dry them. Mm -hmm. So then I got to pull them back out and actually wash yeah. them. Yeah. Um, so that's just more yeah. like trying Communication to, issues. yeah, between you guys, because yeah. you're not the only one who's doing it. You have to remember what yeah. cycle it's in and remember to tell him. So it's not super big issue. Yeah, but. no, not at all. I wanted to get our, the top of our washer is plastic, which I really wish that it was like metal so you couldn't see through it because oh. then I could get like a little, like make a little magnet oh. and like pull aside which magnet for which one it's on, mm -hmm. but yeah. for what part of the cycle. So the next question, you might have to go get a diaper. Okay. I want to know what your favorite ones have been. Ooh, yeah. Okay. All right, so Rye has some of her favorite diapers that she's been using, and in the future I will have up a video, I, it might be before or after this one, of my cloth diaper stash. So it's not like she's tried everything in the whole wide world, but these are just the diapers that I have owned for the newborn stage that she likes. So these are some of her favorites. Yes. So I like the Buttons brand. 
newborn. The newborn. That's yep. the word. Um, I just really, I had a lot of people, like one of the girls I work with does cloth diaper and she, or well, when her kids were in diapers, uh, and she told me not even to like waste my money on the newborn, uh, buttons. But I really feel, because Aiden still fits into the newborn buttons if it's totally unbuttoned. And he's probably 13 pounds by the end of this week because, Jesus, he's been eating so much. And you think he's um, he still has some room to go on them, too? I think he's at his wit's end with them. Okay. Um, we did have this morning some pee escaped, but I think that was Alex's fault because he put the diaper on. <laughs> but... Uh, Cause I really liked the fit. I just liked the way they fit. I yeah. felt like they were just, they looked good and they, they fit really nicely. Yeah. On, the, yeah. on Aaron at least. Cause he's the only one I've caught that bird from the start. So he, the only thing that I'm not digging about these guys is that, which I mean, it's now he's big now is that they're getting really tight on his thighs. Which has been so strange. I have so many opinions on his thighs when it comes to diapers because they've been all over the place. Um, these ones are getting pretty tight on his thighs and I think that's why the pee's escaping because it's figuring a way, like it's coming out up here. Because it's, this is yeah. like, like almost like his leg is too big for like the gusset part. So you have this ungusseted yeah. part that's just it's straight out. and yeah. it's not, you know. Closing in on baby's leg. Yeah, yeah. All the way around. <laughs> I mean, it looks like it, but if he were to, like, lift his leg or move and stuff, I feel like it's getting out of the way. Like, if they had another set of buttons over here, oh. I think he'd be good to go. Hmm. I think he'd be done with these until his little butt was too fat to be in them anymore. Mm -hmm. um, so he was, how big was he when he was born? Seven. He was seven pounds, eight ounces, and he was 21 inches long. Seven pounds, eight ounces at birth, and he's almost, what'd you say, he's 13? He should be 13 by the end of this week. Okay. Last week when we went to our pediatrician's appointment, he was, for his uh, two-month update, he was 12 pounds, 5 ounces. Okay, so yeah. 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 So I would say normal-ish, average-ish. Yeah. Right? Yeah. He's like, his say? body weight is in the 51st percentile. Okay. Yeah. Um, the only thing that... Okay, so I only own the large inserts for these button ones. When did those start working on him? Oh, I had them on him from day one. And uh, they've been they okay were size wise. I mean, they had to like fold a okay. little bit, but that was good because he had so much pee okay. that it just like That's it had good. somewhere to go. Uh -huh. And these ones are they don't tell me on here. Those are probably the bamboo I think or cotton. The, it's bamboo and cotton. But I think, I don't know if it's a daytime or a nighttime. I can't remember. I think it's a daytime. The, they're daytime. The nighttime have snaps on both sides. Oh, what? So that you can snap it underneath. So you can like snap, like you could snap nighttime. Multiple. And then you have the snaps on top. So you can put daytime on top of nighttime. Ooh, I didn't know that. So the larges have worked. They were just a little bit They were, yeah. Up. Yeah. They and were definitely, and because of that, like you can see how it's like bowing really badly when it's getting washed. It's like keeping, that's like the shape that it takes when it's in there because it's like trying to hmm. figure out where to go. But that's because Alex doesn't take the time to like fold it when he puts it on him. But, but there's that. Um, so I've been using, Lena had made. These are just homemade pre-folds turned into snap-in inserts to go with buttons. <laughs> and they're, I really liked them because they're one, they're like super floofy. Mm -hmm. Like really puffy. So even when I was having issues with this size when he was first born, they were itty bitty tiny. And so I was having issues with actually like keeping P in because his thighs were so tiny, but these actually gave him plenty of cushion to push, like to pull, keep everything oh, nice and tight on his thigh. Mm -hmm. So I liked those ones a lot. Um, but they've definitely, they have been my favorite. Alex's favorite is probably, uh, these are the thirsties, mm -hmm. the thirsties all in ones. Alex super likes the all in ones because yeah. he just puts them on and he doesn't think about what he's doing. Um, but he, did he start out peeing those quickly? Like he, he was too big the for thing. them before he out peed them. Oh really? Uh, but not because, so again, he's got tiny thighs. I felt like these were really good on his thighs. I didn't feel like we had any leakage for that. Um, he just, he just got Alex's butt when he was born. So he has a very long butt. And so 
his butt crack started sticking out before he actually outgrew them. Hmm. So we had to stop putting these ones on him. Mm -hmm. um, Cause the boys out peed those in like literally just a couple of weeks. Well, not the boys, Aaron out peed Aaron, them yeah. in like just a couple of weeks. Oh, I don't even think they made it to his first month. I think we were in these until six weeks, I want to yeah. say. Like five or six weeks, I want to say. We were still in these guys. Well, that's probably about on par with what, how big Aaron was getting compared yeah. to what Aaron, Aiden is. What would have been at that time. Like these ones, I don't feel like they ever pinched his thighs. But I know our the buttons have been currently, not pinching, but just like pulling on his thighs more. Yeah. And then the other one that I really like that if I wanted to, he would still fit into it, but I am concerned about his long butt crack. Um, these diaper right diapers. This one specifically, because you gave me another one that's blue, like a turquoise one cover. in there. That one's just a cover. Um, this one's their all in one, the diaper right newborn all in one. Yes. And I really liked that this snapped in because I felt like I felt better about drying this than throwing it into the washer. Yeah. Or into the dryer. Into the dryer, yeah. Um, but I really liked this guy and those. Everyone you says gave those me. are really nice. So. Yeah, I just <laughs> and like even like these guys, the ones that you made, these homemade ones, they fit really well into that one cover. Like this was the only thing I put into that oh, cover. Mm -hmm. They just they fit his thigh really well. And I usually don't like the diapers that meet this yeah i don't know like this i know what you mean like yeah. the soft inside when it meets to the rest yeah, of the you outside can get some wicking on the yeah. edges yeah like you gave me that one uh it's an all-in-one i don't know what brand it is but it's got avocados on it i feel like every oh, time yeah, i yeah. wash that uh -huh. one yeah. that the inside slowly yes. starts curling that one's out really yeah annoying about yeah. that yeah no, i wasn't a fan of that but i started putting in one of these guys inside with that diaper as well, and it's we we don't have that issue anymore because it all just goes to the back guy. Get, yeah, it doesn't get too saturated. Um, and I've been using, I really he wasn't really out peeing anything until recently. So wow, he's really only been out peeing. Do you add anything to this? I do in the all in one size or the size one now. I put those oh, hemp mm -hmm. inserts that you gave me, I fold it in half and I tuck it between the two uh, pieces, the mm -hmm. two... Inserts? Bab or inserts, but they're <laughs> not because they're still attached, so yeah. I don't know. Yeah. Uh, I put it between those and I have it folded in half so that it catches all his pee in the front. Oh. Mm -hmm. Which that's been really good. He, he's been really good about keeping his pee inside. Well, that's crazy because that I always had to add the hemp insert to this Uh huh. and they were, Aaron was still out peeing them. Super oh, geez. fast. So I feel like only in the past like month has he really been like all about peeing all the time. Cause I feel like in the first month it was literally like we didn't even know if he peed because there was so much poop in the diaper. Like yeah. we didn't even have time to pay attention yeah. to if the, he had peed or not. Um, but yeah, he just always had so much poo. <laughs> <laughs> so. She doesn't go back to work until this coming week. You haven't gone back to work yet, but how do you think laundry's going to go with you I, working? I think it's gonna be fine because I still get to telework. I actually think it's gonna go better because I can actually set a timer and run down and actually switch stuff out instead of being like, okay, we're in the middle of doing something. Remember to go do this when we're done with it. Mm -hmm. And then four hours later being like, oh crap, what I do? Do you feel like it's gonna be too stressful once you actually have to go back to work? I don't know how that's gonna go. I think it'll still be going okay. I'll probably have, like as of right now, we have not missed any days like doing laundry. Um, but I think we're probably gonna have to jump to like doing laundry every other day if I have to go in continuously. Yeah. Um, but yeah, it all just, it all just depends. Was the stash of stuff big enough? Yes. Do you feel like it was excessive? No, because there were a lot of blowout days. <laughs> Not like blowout like he actually blew out the diaper, but there were just a lot of days where it was like so much poo that he would go through, like he just pooped nonstop. Like you would, instead of changing like every two hours, it'd be like every 45 minutes you had to change his butt. So I feel like it was a good amount. Like I feel like 12 diapers was the minimum for him. Daily? Yeah. Mm -hmm. Yeah. 
Was it hard? I know you were talking a little bit about fit with the buttons. Was it hard to figure out fit on him in the first few weeks? Yeah. Um, like I said, his thighs were super weird. They sometimes would fit and sometimes they wouldn't. And he had such a little itty bitty tiny waist. He was just such a little string bean when he was born. And then he started gaining weight, but only in his belly. And so then, <clears throat> so then everything started, like all of his diapers had to keep going out and out. But then he like stopped growing in his belly. His thighs got bigger, bigger, and then he just grew longer. And so I just felt like every time I was like, this diaper fits great. It was like the next time I went to use it, I was just like, what the hell's happening? Yeah. Like, <laughs> <laughs> he was just growing so fast. Yeah. It was yeah. fitting the same way it did last week. <laughs> yeah, for real. Yeah. Okay, I know we don't have your stash with us, but what do you know what diapers, what one size diapers started fitting the earliest on him? Um, or did you not even try to get into one size stuff until he started outgrowing? No, when he, when he outgrew these guys is when I started, because these guys, the thirsties are much smaller than the buttons. The buttons yeah. go like another, like, I think five pounds. Okay. You can hold five pounds more or something like that. But like, I mean, like just looking at it, it's like a whole. Yeah. And then thigh wise, like, geez, oh, look yeah. at that. So I know I've seen you then putting. buttons. The buttons would be the first ones. No, what was the other? Is that Thirsties? Is that the Thirsties all in ones? The Thirsties all in ones. The ones with like cows and stuff on them? I don't know. There's, there's like one with cows, cows and then there's one with. Like moon and like nighttime. Yeah, like stuff. nighttime yeah, looking yeah, yeah. themes. Mm -hmm. Yeah. Okay, well then the Thirsties all in ones size one are the first the not size. newborn okay close enough <laughs> are the first non newborn diapers that he had on and were they like super bulky um only because i was putting that extra him hemp hemp insert hemp, yeah um which then i really didn't even feel like it was super bulky because he wasn't really like i mean he's not like crawling around like trying to do <laughs> stuff uh but yeah and then after that i went to the i had buttons and i started putting i really weighed until the last minute on the buttons though because these guys the newborn buttons are still fitting but yeah but yeah okay what do you wish you knew before you started doing this wish that i knew yeah or you feel like you were well prepared i feel like i was prepared i did have early on he started getting that butt rash and we couldn't figure out what that was about but then you suggested putting the diapers in for an extra rinse and that solved that problem. So, uh, apparently the detergent that we bought remained in the diaper, like the insert for too long or like was super saturated in the, the insert. So we had to just throw them in for a third cycle for a while, but then we figured out, I don't know, it kind of, the rash just kind of stopped showing up and I don't know. So it might not have even been the yeah, it might not have wash been routine that. anyway. But I think Alex wasn't doing, when Alex was doing diapers, I don't think he hit the extra, like we've got like a bunch of extra settings and I always hit like, I do the deep wash for the normal wash and then I add uh, like extra rinse and like an extra deep water wash or something like that. And so I, since I've been doing that, he hasn't had any rashes. Other than like he sat in his poo for too long or something. Uh, but yeah, so I don't think Alex was doing that. I think he was just doing like a normal whatever rinse. So I don't think it was getting, or not rinse, but a normal whatever wash. So I don't think it was pulling all the detergent out of the diapers. Oh. Hmm. <laughs> Those were all the questions from me. And now I have a handful of questions from people who were on Instagram and sent me questions. So thank you everyone who's Yay. been on Instagram <laughs> participating. <laughs> so first question, does the sleep deprivation of having a new baby make you want to quit cloth diapering because of all the laundry? No. No, not no. at that point. But remember, she hasn't gone back to work yet. Yeah, yeah, that's true. <laughs> um, no, I don't feel, I don't feel like that really had, I mean, going downstairs, cause downstairs is cold, that sucks, but, uh, no, I don't feel like it's had any effect no. on on that. Just generally wanting to sleep more, <laughs> but. So what, this is, um, what did you end up liking best? And we talked about these, but like, what would you say overall style? Like, do you like the covers with the inserts or do you like where it's an all-in-one all together? What are your favorites in those? Alex likes the all-in-one, but I like the cover and an insert, unless it's bedtime. Then I'm really, really, really in love with kawaii diapers. Uh, just because I feel like that, 
I mean, I hate putting that together. It's a pocket. Yeah, I yeah. hate putting it together. But that's something that probably wouldn't have fit when he was tiny. It's super fluffy. It might have. I'm not tiny, tiny, but like in the last like month, he probably could have gotten into it. But I thought that they were super size ones, so I left them in the drawer with the other super size ones that I had. And then I was like, oh hey, I haven't tried this diaper yet. He got bigger. Let's see if it fits. And it fit. Yeah. Um. So he might have been, been able to fit in it by like four or five weeks, but I just I didn't hmm. check it out. That's good. Cause they're super poopy. So. Cause those those the Kawaii <laughs> pockets worked well with Aaron for overnight up until he potty trained like so they should yeah. last you for a long time and they just keep his butt so dry I'm so excited about that do you have any organization tips for having so many different such a variety of diapers uh just put all your diapers together before you put them away that's the some best. people don't some people like to have <laughs> everything no separate but yeah i like to put on laundry day i like to put everything yeah into yeah. you know match up all the inserts make sure everything is the way it needs to be yeah because i didn't do that in the very beginning and alex <laughs> was putting like these guys inside of like this and trying to add them to all in ones and i was just like what are you doing <laughs> so it was and then he's like why won't this driver fit and i'm like you have seven pads in it why do you think it won't fit Okay, here's something. Um, I got a question. Do you spray the breastfed baby poop before throwing it in the pail? And even though you don't have to, Rye does. I did. Okay. I stopped doing it um, out of laziness. Because, <laughs> I mean, like, like, I mean, you can see this one. This one still has, like, a poo stain. But, I mean... Just for staining? Yeah, yeah. That was my goal. Because you had gave me diapers. And so I was, like, on all the newborns, <laughs> I washed all of them. Because I was like, I don't want her taking this back being like, what oh, the hell okay, is okay, Ryan okay. baby eating? <laughs> Turning this stuff crazy colors. So I was like, we have to clean those. And so uh, it's just been probably, like, the last, like, three weeks that we've stopped. And like, everything's still them out. Nothing everything, smelly and weird. No, nothing stinks. I mean, like, you can definitely, like, this, I There's, could wash it again, but it's going to come out in the next wash mm -hmm. if he doesn't poo in this one, so mm -hmm. whatever. Yeah. Yeah. That's, My laziness sometimes, will win. Sometimes people, there are some people who really stains bug them, but I, I don't care. Yeah. It's a diaper. It's going on somebody's it's butt. It's on the inside. <laughs> it's not like, yeah, it's the cute side of the diaper. And it'll all come out with a few washes. Yeah. It'll be fine. Yeah. And there was another question that had something to do with that too. It was, how are you storing dirty diapers? Uh, we have, it was like an old, it was like a trash can. With like a flip top. Yeah. Which we might as well take the flip top off because we <laughs> always have it open. Um, but we would just throw them in there and at the end of the night we had it, instead of putting but it you in have, the garbage like, you bag. you have a liner in there? Like a bag? We used a pillowcase. Oh, okay. Uh, yeah. From Alex's demon toes and how they would ruin all of our sheets. So I just saved all the pillowcases and th that's what we used. But I did just order off Amazon, uh, I don't know, what is it called? Pole fabric? P U L. P -U -L yeah. Uh, we ordered a three pack of those guys that fit. I didn't even, I was a fool. I didn't even check to see what size they were. I was just like, those look big. And I bought like a three pack of them and they fit perfectly in the. Uh, oh, that's good in the trash diaper thing. pail trash yeah. thing whatever it is but yeah so we've been using those but those so do you have one just in the bathroom like when you change a dirty diaper do you take the diaper to the bathroom yeah okay we did have but her bathrooms one. i mean it's just like three steps out the door i mean like yeah baby's room. yeah if you're headed back to your bedroom to the bedroom you can like just swing your hand and then toss it into the into the pail yeah um the only thing that sucks about that is that I don't know, I gotta get like a hand sanitizer or something at his little diaper changing station. Cause I always have to like lay him down in the crib and then go wash my hands and then he's just like, why have you abandoned me? And like screams his heart out. Uh, but yeah, that's totally different thing, not related to that question. <laughs> okay, I think we only have one more. Oh, and this one is probably more for me. Can you wash two kids diapers in the same load? The answer is yes. Calvin and Aaron were both uh, wearing diapers when Aaron was tiny and I would wash them all together. The only thing that might be kind of an issue, if you are like, like if I were babysitting Aiden and he had, and I had his cloth diapers at my house, I wouldn't really feel comfortable washing those with my kids' diapers. I don't know, I would just prefer to keep them separate because we're in separate households. Like if somebody had a rash, I wouldn't want to give it to the other one. Yeah, yeah. But with my two kids' 
my two kids personally, I wouldn't see it as a big deal doing both of their diaper laundry together. Yeah. Especially because it can be difficult. You know, if you have kids that are like two, three years apart and maybe the older one's only wearing nighttime diapers, like you don't want to do a wash that's like just a two or three nighttime diapers when you could just throw those in with all the 20 yeah. other diapers that your other kid wore. Do you have anything else you want to say about the newborn stage? Was it terrible? Any other thoughts? What do you want to say about newborn stage it in sucks. general? <laughs> <laughs> Just, you know, waking up constantly. Is it worse I, than you thought it was? I require eight hours of sleep, like minimum. I just do. I started doing sleep training, uh, which lots of people have lots of opinions on. Um, which I don't know if you're supposed to or not supposed to, but I did, and this is where we are now. <laughs> um, but I did, like I tried to keep him up for an hour and a half after he ate to try and get him used to being awake during the day, which has helped a lot with him not having periods of time where he's like, it's nighttime, but I think it's the day. Better stay up for like four hours straight. So that has been super helpful. And I feel like, I don't know, I felt like we were in a really good groove at like five weeks to six weeks and then seven weeks hit and he was just like, I want to eat every three seconds. And so he was waking up more frequently at night and then during the day, it was literally, I literally had 20 minutes between, like, finish feeding him and start feeding him again because he was, like, just starving to death all the time. And so that was when I was like, oh, my God, I think I'm losing my milk supply, which I wasn't. But, like, he was just starving to death constantly because apparently growth spurts. So there's that. <laughs> <laughs> it gets better, guys. Not that you don't already know this, but, you know. <laughs> Well, you never know. There's a lot of people who have been asking a lot of questions because they are first-time moms, too, and they're pregnant mm -hmm. and they're due soon. I've got a lot of people who are due, like, April, May. Uh -huh. So your information is very helpful for people who have never done this before. <laughs> people who say the first two weeks are the worst are only kind of telling you the truth. Um, like, for him, because, like, my pediatrician... Yeah, the first two weeks are the worst. But Are you sure? I mean, that's what that's what everyone. I mean, like <laughs> my uh, lady doctor told me that. My pediatrician told me that. They're like the first two weeks are terrible, but after that things get better. And I'm like they do get better, but not drastically. I would and say so, the first two months are very hard. Oh, I would just say the oh no yeah the first two months. First month for sure is Satan, because you're <laughs> like let me just flip my entire sleeping schedule around, and then. And but it's been three years place. since I've done it, so... That's true, yeah. We'll see in a couple months. <laughs> You'll give us an update and be like, actually, it's everything sucks. <laughs> but it, yeah, it just felt like... First two weeks definitely suck hardcore. The first two weeks suck real bad. First two weeks suck real because bad. Because he doesn't have melatonin. Because he doesn't have melatonin. Okay. <laughs> and so he doesn't know what time of day it is, so he just always thinks stay up forever. And so, uh... Which also... Like I told you earlier today, when we were doing great things, being cool people, um, I really don't like looking up those, like, uh, like how much sleep and how much they should be eating at what stage and what week they are, because it's all lies, because they do whatever the hell they want. <laughs> so it's like, sure, for the first, like, two days, he's only drinking, like, this little EB bit, and then, you know, by, like, like day, like, six or seven, you know, he's eating, like, a lot more. And they're like, okay, well, six or seven, you know, like, do a week to, like, three weeks. This is how much he should be eating. It should be this one amount. But then all of a sudden, at two weeks, he's like, no, I'm going to stay on that boob for 45 minutes, and I'm just going to eat until I explode. And so I could not figure out why he was always so angry. And I'm like, dude, you just ate until I just came until, like, I just, you... I just remember all the times that you were like, the boob solves everything. So I was like, just keep eating. It's so true. Like, <laughs> if you're nursing, it solves everything. <laughs> it really does. Like, if he's upset for if any they're sad, reason. Yeah, if they get yeah. hurt, if they just want to hang out with you. Like, especially once you go back to work. Like, he could drink a bottle at mom's. You could watch mom give him a bottle <laughs> when you pick him up. And then you come home and he'll be like, Mom, give me a boob. Give me that boob. And you'll be like, they gone all eight, day. But he don't care. He just wants to hang out with you. And it's really frustrating because when you get home from work, you want to start dinner. You want to yeah. do the laundry. You want to, like, do things. But they want to hang out with you for 45 minutes. Like, I love nap you, on you, but goddamn, like... <laughs>
<laughs> and then you're like, okay, we gotta go to bed like two hours. You don't need a nap right yeah, now. No napping. <laughs> yeah, no napping. Yeah. It's That's really hard. hard. The evenings coming home from work suck. <laughs> like, so yesterday we I mean, just it's, not, it's nice though. It's nice. It, I mean, you want to sit like, down and oh, relax with baby. Me. But you also have like all these other things you have to do yeah. because you've been at work all day. <laughs> this is what the nighttime feedings are for. Bond with me then. Like, let me get all this other stuff done. Mm-hmm. But yeah, that'll be hard. So Which I was telling, mind. yeah, because I was telling you earlier today that uh, he's been super fussy with his eating. We're trying to figure out what kind of food sensitivities he has, and like he just he's like, oh, I'm not gonna eat this boob. I'm just gonna sit here and go and like let the boob fall over my face and like get boob juice everywhere, and then I'll be like so angry. I'll be like, dude, what are you doing with your life? And he's just like. I love you. <laughs> Smiles. I'm having a great time. This is so great. And I'm just like, I love you too, but God damn it. Like, what are you doing? <laughs> so it's, you're going to have a, like, I've had, I probably cry like every other day because he just like, he just frustrates me because he'll be like, I only need to eat for 30 seconds and then I'm fine. But then as soon as you move and I'm going to fall asleep and you can shake me and like flip me in the air and I won't wake up. But the moment you lay me down, I'll help. Why'd you, I was in the middle of eating. Why am I here now? <laughs> and so I'm just like, dude, you're driving me crazy. So I'll like cry about him driving me crazy. And then he'll cry cause I'm crying. So we're both just like crying. And then Alex comes home and he's like, go take a shower. And, like, takes the baby. <laughs> and then I come back out and he's like, Hey mom, it's so good to see you. I haven't seen you in so long. <laughs> All right, so that is the end of our little chat. If you guys have any other requests um, for Rye or for me, leave them down in the comments below. Follow me on Instagram where you guys can answer when I ask if you have any other questions. We can, we can do like Q and A's and stuff. I'm always trying to interact with you guys on Instagram, so follow me there. And I hope you guys enjoyed. If you did like this video, don't forget to give it a thumbs up and we'll talk to you next time. Bye.